Welcome back, everyone. This is another episode of my uh, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Uh, well, it's going to be kind of changed up from here on out, guys. Uh, doing the episode by episode wasn't really as enjoying as I thought it would be. You know, it only let me play for a little bit. and It was more just playtime, playthrough kind of thing. Uh, just gameplay footage. What I'd like to do is actually kind of take you guys around, show you a little bit of the boss fights. Uh, bigger boss fights, of course. We got a. I'll, I'll do an episode as well on the little creatures, but for this episode, we're gonna go ahead and run around. Uh, I know I got a chimera over here. I'm gonna show you how to take one of those down. And even though if you play this game, you have already, but I'm just gonna go over, show you guys uh, kind of the breakdown, play by play of everything how it goes. All right, be right back. Get you guys over there. All right, and we found her, beautiful and glorious, roaring into the mist. All right, so little heads up on these things. Uh, you, like I said, if you played this, you've uh, fought this before. This is one of the boss fights in the tutorial. I'm kind of just wasting stamina running around, not a smart thing to do. But the first thing you kind of want to jump on is that snake head. Uh, it does spit venom on the ground, which kind of sucks, but it could also bite your pawns and kind of pull them in and lock them in place. So, recommend right away. Uh, if you're a caster, if you're an arrow shooter, marksman, I guess, uh, ranger, whatever you want to call them. Or anything like that, I recommend go ahead, just get up there. Uh, there's the lion's roar right there, kind of stuns you a little bit. Caterbury, no! No! Caterbury! Put her down! Oh my god, that's the hurt. She is down. And we got another one trying to put us down. Caterbury, no! Uh, Caterbury, of course. R.A. Salvatore reference, in my opinion. Uh, it's a pawn that someone made. I'm hoping that's what they did it for. Don't feel like they could have done it for any other reason. Uh, so we got a little... Aw, oh, I kind of missed that up completely. So we're going to head now... So, there we go. Finally got on here. Got a good angle on it, too. We're kind of midway. Uh, it has its own health bar. You kind of see it right there above its head as I'm smacking it down. It's going down pretty quickly. Uh, like I said, it's what, what really happened is I, I did a few videos where I was going to try to piece them together and do a little montage of leveling up and grinding. And what ended up happening is all of it was filmed without any sound. Uh, no game sound, no mic sound, anything. It was it, it was kind of frustrating. So I decided just to jump in, pick it back up, get back on that horse, whatever you want to call it. Um, what happened there, what you just saw, when he does panic, when the Chimera, he or she panics, they will kind of just start prancing around, jump around a little bit like they are right now, bucking, kind of. If you attack them hard at that point, they will go back down to the ground. Uh, they will gain control, of course, and all that. But keep on attacking. Uh, another thing is, the goat's finally down. Uh, well, I kind of jumped through a lot pretty quick there, guys. So that goat, I do recommend getting it down second. Uh, it does put you to sleep. For the lower levels, it's really kind of a pain. Uh, kind of, you become a little bit more resistant to it as you get better gear and stuff like that. But, you know, whatever. Moving on. Uh, the lion's head is more of the physical aspect of it. It does fear magic, though. You probably heard Pawn screaming that out. So if you do want it to kind of panic a little bit, go ahead and hit it with some magic for the casters out there. But I am a huge fan of getting right, but right on top of that goat, smacking it dead. Uh, before it casts any lightning, puts us to sleep, or does anything like that. Uh, harpies are just a pain, too, guys. I, I hate them. But we got some good spells here. Thank you, guys. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and run around, try to find another one. Um... If we get to another Chimera, I'll probably go into more detail about other aspects of it, but main thing is it can lock you down. Uh, the lion's head can pin you and chew you down. Uh, the snake tail can grab you. So can harpies. So, watch yourself. We got Zeta Jones and Caddy Bree here with me and Sargatuan. I think they're a little bit lower level now, but that's quite fun. I, I'm, I'm alright with it. So let's move on, try to find some better bosses. Better fights here, at least. And for all you people that are just now returning to uh, Dragon's Dogma, if you haven't played the Dark Arisen, I don't even think it's in the Dark Arisen if you got it, but this is the first time I'm doing Dark Arisen myself. Uh, something they did end, add is these uh, stones right here. I remember back in the day when I was first playing, I had to throw one of my port crystals down here on the ground just so I could teleport back to Casardis. Uh If you watch my previous videos, I was saying Casardis like an idiot. Yeah, moving on. Uh, so yeah, got these here now. Makes it a little bit easier to go. And also... This little handy dandy, you don't have to use it, you can leave it in your bank, but Eternal Fairy Stone, man, that just makes getting around so much easier. Because in the vanilla, you you really, eh, vanilla, I've played WoW, yeah, I'm one of those, I'm an elitist, not really, I suck at WoW. Um, getting back into it, actually, I might put some videos of me, just maybe some speeded up videos, but anyway, back to uh, finding a boss, that's all you guys really Mom's weak to fire. 
Hey, look, he's sleeping. He's waking up, though. So this right here is uh, called the Cyclops. If you've played the game, this is the second boss you've probably ran into. Well, I keep saying boss, but bigger creature. creature. Uh, down there with him are some harpies. Leading for a good time. Uh, so this thing right there has this giant big club. Uh, what I like to do right away is make it drop it. Uh, shoot it a few times in the arm, it will drop it. And see, I'm, I think I'm hitting it in the stomach. In the stomach with you. See, you just keep hitting it, and it will eventually. I'm just gonna trifold it. Yeah. Oh, see, you could also break those tusks off. Uh, sweet. Good job, guys. You're doing it. Uh, he's weak because you know they they. They're meant for early level kind of stuff. Uh, definitely want to attack his eye. It's going to stun him. Not really stun him, but easier to put him down. If you want to grab on his leg, it's going to make him easier to trip up. Puts him off balance a little bit, which is nice and nice and nice to have. Get in here. Oh, so he's covering his face. We already got him down one full bar. Now he's down two full bars. Not now, but now he is. Okay. There he is. Now he's down to just his last bar, which, you know, we ain't nothing. We ain't nothing to mess with. I'm gonna jump on his head and see if I can get a little bit of footing and try to do the last last few blows. But no, no, he he hit me. I wanna grab your face! Come here! Come here! Stop swinging on him and just put your feet on him. Get some grip, brother. Come on, man. See, I'm not doing anything. He's kinda of raging around and it's kinda of putting me off balance. It's really happening there. It's kinda of, it's it's normal. Um he's in slow motion now? We're in slow motion. Now he's in normal motion. He's in dead motion. Alright, let's go and get up, get a better view. Ooh! Ooh! That hurt. He's really, really tall, guys. Don't jump. But they'll heal me. My people love me. Thank you, Cadbury. Th thank you. Alright. So yeah, ogres are, not ogres, ogres are actually kind of difficult. Uh, Cyclops, though, they're pretty easy. They're kind of dumb. Uh, easy to climb on. If they do have the helmet, I'll see if I can find one to show off. But if they have a helmet, you just want to climb onto their back, and they'll kind of notice you there, and then reach to try to grab you. Just get out of the way. They'll grab the helmet and take the helmet off themselves. That's how dumb they are. All right, guys, but I'm going to go ahead and step away and you know, try to find another one. Do a couple more of these. I want to find something different, though. Brought to you by Bearded Puma Gaming. Hey friends, has this ever happened to you? Oh my god, there's bandits here and they're not too... They're, they're not strong, but they're not weak. And I don't want to kill them with my weapons. What can I do? Well, one of the things you can do is go ahead and use our little friend Gravity. All you have to do is pick up one of your, your enemy bandits here and go ahead and take them off and let Gravity do the dirty work for you. Ah, oh. and yes, even those pesky goblins can be defeated by simple gravity. An opening and strike. Ah, we did it. No blood on my hands. Wipe them clean. Oh, gravity. You can kill anything. Curious about uh, doing the little little double jump if you're wondering if you can do that right before you land just to save your life. No, you can't. Uh, I'm not gonna. I don't think you. Let's do it from the top of this rock. I'll show you. So, doing the double jump is not going to save you from taking damage. It's. Yeah, see? No matter what. You're still going to fall flat on your face. Even if you do it the second before you land, you're still going to fall flat on your face, guys. Hey, so remember last, uh... Well, it just happened, so there it is, right there. We got ourselves, uh, a Cyclops with the helmet on. Uh, I'm only going to show how to get the helmet off real quick for you guys. I'll, I'll kill it, but I already went through how to, how to do it all. You know, you want to attack the eye, you want to collect the tusks off its face. Uh, kind of didn't really talk about that too much, but... Yeah, if we can just try to get all these guys down real fast. Get him to drop the club just so he doesn't do that. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start making some moves here. I think, I just wanted to get the helmet off. So let's go ahead and just try to get up there. Haha, <laughs> it stomped and put me down. And almost stomped on me and killed me. That would have been embarrassing. 
Leave it to okay, me. let's go ahead and try to get up here. Uh, climbing up the spine. Go to a little bit to the. All right, at this point, yep. See, he kind of notices something's on his back. He's gonna reach over and boom, took his helmet right off. Now you can just climb back up there if that's what you like to do, and just I right, wiggle a little bit. But it's all right. We'll gain our footing again. Oh yeah. So as you can see, transfix them with uh, lightning. If you hit him with lightning, it will stun him. And it also does a lot of damage, so it's good to have a caster for that. That's why I like to have two. If you're a caster, go ahead and keep smapping, smacking him in the face of the lightning spells, and you're good to go. Alright, and here we are in the catacombs. We did find our ogre there. Uh, so, a couple things to know about the ogres is they will attack women first. They're, they kind of remind me of King Kong. Uh, let's get in there before we actually have to fight him next to where we can fall to our death. Uh, he's kind of a tiny one, though. You know, he's a little tiny guy. But they remind me of King Kong and the fact that they are obsessed with women, except that they would rather just smack them up and end up eating them. Uh, wow. See, that's what I was afraid of happening. Right there. Right there. Alright, we're going to charge in here now. Get back in there. Get our people in here as well. Just tell them to charge straight in here, right past them. I'm on my way. There we go. Okay, so now we got a much better area to fight him with. He's he's a really tiny one, but you know it's still going to be a fight with it. Uh, ooh, what was okay? So like I said, they do hate women. They have that drop kick, which is just painful. They also have another thing. Uh, they, they do feel you climbing on them. They will jump up and try to like body slam you down uh, on your back and see if he can do it. Yep, there you go. So you can always press A, jump off right before he does it, and he will actually be stuck on the ground, give you a little bit of opportunity to smack him. Uh, you mainly want to try to hit him in the face. It really is what's useful. Uh, usually, typically, I like to use fire. Um, I kind of leave that up to my mages at this point, though. There we go. Sargachuan looks like she, she kind of she heard me. She got the tip. Come on, girl, give it to me. There it is. Thank you very much, ma'am. Alright, now see, he's uh, trying to eat Zeta Jones right there. Eating her. He actually is eating her. He saved her. Put him, put enough air in his face. And, uh, you know, you can always save somebody like that. So we're going to try to just smack him in the back of the head now. Uh, he does do that. If we hit him long enough, he will kind of explode out of it and fling us off his back. But we got a good angle on him. We're getting the head damage. You can see his head shaking. That's how you know I'm actually attacking the head. Looks like, okay, they got him stunned a little bit. Give me a second. Caddy Bree, thank you, Caddy. Always there to help. Not too stressed about it. Uh, that thunderclap he did, he has that as well, which kind of sucks. Ooh, looks like he has another grab of one, but... Oh, no, he has a grab of me. He has me. <laughs> so this is a great way to die. This is a great way to die. Uh, I'm going to have to... Uh, it's not working. Yep, yep. He, he ate me. He, uh... He ate me. Alright, so actually I think I was wrong about the fire. I believe ice is going to be uh, really slows him down quite a bit. <laughs> you can also see I froze his arm a little bit up there too. Kind of did a lot of damage to him. Oh, there he goes with the uppercut. It is exposed after it attacks. Uh, we got it down pretty quickly this time. Uh, I don't. I hope I'm not, you know, eaten. That would be awful. I hate when I'm eaten. Uh, it's it's but it's supposed to glow. It, it, it's but is it really that glowing though? I can't tell. But when it's uh kind of raging like that, it's supposed to have a glowing butt. Well, I can't tell. I can't see it. Ooh, kind of did the little back smack on me. He's doing it again. All right, I'm gonna try to heal up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna smack these buttons so hard. Raw. I don't care if it's just wiggle. I'm gonna do all of it. Come on, guys, help me out. Help me out. You didn't help me out. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, you ran far enough away for me to get away this time. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. How did that happen? I've never broken free before. That was some lucky, lucky stuff. Alright, alright, I hate you now. I want you to just to die. I, I, I'm kind of scared, guys. I don't want to get close to him. He keeps eating me. It was the third time he would have ate me. See, now he's trying to eat Sargachuan. Why were you guys doing that before? You guys were there for her. You didn't do anything for me. 
Alright, but yeah, these ogres, they, they're they really fast. They're really nimble. Uh, they hit really, really hard, and when they hit you, they you will be stunned. You will get staggered. Sometimes you will get grabbed and eaten. Uh, <laughs> Caddy Bree went up in the sky that time. Wham, boom, straight to the moon. Uh, I don't know if that's how it says, but straight to the moon. First of all, not moon. Uh, Zeta Jones. There you go. See, combustion. Alright, well, that was not an easy fight. I'm exhausted. Ugh. All right, well, let's go loot up. Let's go well, first, Caddy Bree. You gotta get you back up. Come on. I'm so I know. Wolfgar wasn't here to protect you. If Wolfgar was here. Oh, that egg is. Oh man. Be disgusting. That would not even been a challenge. Here, I think I might end it with the last uh, battle being the ogre fight. So yeah, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna explore this a little bit more, see if there's anything new to it. But till next time, I'm gonna bring another episode you guys' way. Please. uh Hit that like button if you did like the video, if it helped you out at all. If it was even just a little entertaining. Uh, of course, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, hit that subscribe button. You know, Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. kind of changed up from uh, how I normally do videos with this series. So maybe you liked it. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. But uh, have a great day, guys. Talk to you again. Bearded Puma Gaming. Hey, friends. Has this ever happened to you? Oh, my God. There's bandits here, and they're not too... They're, they're not strong, but they're not weak. But I don't want to kill them with my own... Aw, oh, you ruined it! Zeta Jones, you ruined it! Your gravity even works on yourself.